Hey guys, it's Lion Clan Sophie 2 and today I'm making videos showing you guys a new Teen Titans Go to Hill of Garden reveal to Filler Dimensions. And after that, I'll show you the rebuilds that we've recently got revealed to for the vehicle slash gadget. And then finally, I'm going to show you a special picture I found from one of the, um, the E3 live gameplays. Um, it's, I call it a special picture because I'm not sure if anybody caught it, but I seem to catch the scene at the right time to find pictures or something that I will be showing you at the end of the video. So let's get right into that. So to start with the Teen Titans Go trailer, you first get this um awesome shot of the Jump City, I think jail or asylum, whatever you want to call it. And this is, looks pretty cool. I'm ha actually happy that it's in Lego Dimensions and it seems to be a space where you could move a uh, sort of block down there and you could maybe get a gold brick from here. There are also some um, stealth sensors, so that's pretty cool. And in the next scene, we see Robin popping out of the, a dimensional portal, and then he assembles all the titans, and we get to see all titans come together. We get our first look at Robin and Cyborg, and they look awesome, but I'll get right into that in another scene of this, um, because there is a, um, a lot more was for them, and it actually shows a spotlight that they could turn into the Teen Titans Go version, which is so cool, so we'll get right into that. So now we get a big sign that says Teen Titans Go, and we can see Starfire using her laser power, and next we see a bunch of Kirks running towards this, um, looks like garbage can, and then we can see Raven coming in, it says, no one invades my personal space, and creates a giant hand with her, um, magic, and slaps them, and we can see after that she just defeated a bunch of Billy Numeruses, or Numerous, I'm not sure what the plural of that is. And now they're starting to show a kind of character spotlight thing, and it started off, we've got Raven, and for Raven, they've got her going through some magic walls, which is one of her new abilities, and we next see her go creating two magic walls. She actually has this, this song kind of symbol in her be bedroom from the Teen Titans ago, show if you haven't seen it yet but then we could also see that it, in the next scene she's just going this kind of rock creature a little rock creature from the power miners and i'm guessing this might be one of tara's minions we do see tara later in this curler so that would be pretty cool if it was and to finish off this character spotlight we see that there is um raven and she's shooting a bunch of electricity out of her hands. She has hold electricity in the set. Plus, she's probably going to have some electricity ability based on what we just saw. So that's it for the spotlight. Next, we see Beast Boy. We start by just seeing him standing there. But next, we get to see that it starts the spotlight. For the spotlight, we get to see three different transformations. The first one is when he flies, he'll turn into a bird, just like Lego Batman Movie 3. Next, unlike Lego Batman Movie 3, he turns into a kind of dog, so this is either a wolf or it's like a regular dog. I think it's a wolf, but it's pretty cool, and um, I'm actually pretty sure he'll be able to turn into a wolf whenever he's doing either dig or cracking, so that'll be pretty cool. And next, finally, to end off the transformations and the Beast Boy spotlight, we have it showing him whenever he goes underwater or near a body of water he'll turn into a dolphin and he could go do dive with that and something else they revealed at the e3 was that he could turn into a mouse whenever he's doing slurp access or small hatches or aka mini access and i'm kind of hoping he'll be able to turn into other stuff like how how often he really turns into a bee in the show it would be cool if maybe he could do drone himself instead of just having a drone and he would be oh well, like i said turn into a bee to do drone i think that would be pretty cool and he could do a lot of other different stuff maybe with other um animals that he could turn into so yeah those are just my suspicions for how he turned into a wolf and that concludes the beast boy spotlight and for the Starfire Spotlight, we obviously get the opening, and then we can see Starfire blasting some stuff with her hands, and then in the next scene, she's just flying over, it looks like Townsville, it might not be Townsville, it could just be Jump City, 
I'm not sure. But anyways, in the scene after that, we can see Starfire in the Titan robot. And she is in the Zenitical Adventure World. So, that, yeah, it's pretty cool. So next it says, I'm going to unlock new looks for Robin and Cyborg. And this is really cool. I really like how they get um, new looks when they enter a certain world. Just like Batman did from the Lego Batman movie. Can't think of any other characters right now. But it's so awesome. I love how they made these characters. They gave them each a new hair piece. Or slash um, robotic part piece. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. They even gave Cyborg um, a new chest piece. And they gave him those big hands. Which is pretty cool, even though he doesn't have, like, gigantic hands. He just has, um, like, bigger than normal hands. Because he's a robot. That's still pretty cool. And all of how they made these characters, I just really like these. Now we see Robin and Cyborg, and they're going to show kind of spotlight for both of them together. So Robin is growing some rock creatures, and he says, it's too easy. Which is when we get to see some Cyborg. We get to see some Cyborg him flying over the city and then after that we'll see him shooting some lasers out of Wackadoodle Amusement Park and I really like how they're including all these really cool locations in the Teen Titans Go Adventure World and actually all Adventure World in general so that's pretty cool and but this isn't it there's actually more we got to see some battle arenas in Adventure World and then I got some rebuilds to show you so we'll stay tuned for that and this captain right now is telling us that we're going to see some more of the adventure world. So, first we got a big shot of it. The only building I really recognized is the Brain Tower. Or as Beast Boy calls it, Brian. Um, anyways, next we can see the Hive Tower, which is pretty cool. It looks exactly like the show. It even looks animated. I'm not even sure if that's built out of Lego or if it's just animated but yeah it's pretty cool and next we have to see Starfire in this place I'm not really sure where it is so I'm just gonna kinda skip that part and let's see some more Robin and Cyborg and they're finding some Billy Numeruses now um I'm not really sure what it has to do with the adventure world but uh, it's part of the trailer so I'm gonna review it with you guys now it says awesome more battle arenas you get to see some really cool shots of battle arenas shows two different types of battle arenas and then plus one in the sand with the who the people won and then we get to see some really cool teams with characters like raven beetlejuice sonic starfire bubble sonic and starfire bubbles blossom buttercup and then we get to see a really cool shot of terra and some sort of lab with little titans on it on a computer screen i meant and then we also see some more team ups like Cyborg and Blossom, and then Finn and Sonic, which has nothing to do with Wave 9. We see a small shot of Beast Boy, and then both the Fun Pack and the Team Pack box images. We see Starfire on the T Rocket, which is a rebuild of the Titan robot that comes with Starfire. And we can see Baby Ryan on the Spell Book of Azra, and then it tells us that. Any of the packs will come with an all-new in-game episode, which is so cool. It'll show how they stumble upon the Lego Dimensions universe, and I'm really excited for that. I'm guessing it's because it was supposed to be a level pack, but it's not anymore. But finally, to end this off, they're showing us some part of the Titans assembling at the T-Tower. And this isn't the end of the video. I'm still going to show you guys some rebuilds for the Teen Titans Go vehicles, and then I want to show you something else I found on one of the E3 gameplays. Inside of the rebuilds, we have labels for all the Teen Titans Go packs, and so I want to show you guys these. First of all, we have the um, Teen Titans Go car, or the T-car, I just forgot what they called it in the pack. Um, but yeah, the rebuilds look pretty cool. We've already got revealed that it will be a T plane and T forklift. And I was actually pretty surprised that they were able to make these stuff. Because I once tried to build it out of the T car that I tried to build, and I couldn't. I just couldn't make those. So I really like the way they did it with this. And that looks really cool. I really like how the T forklift is like an actual forklift. Except it just can't go up. So, yeah, still pretty cool. And the T-Plane looks awesome. I'm pretty sure the T-Plane is the third build. 
and C Fleckless is the second. I think T Plane looks really cool. I'm really surprised that they were able to make a T Plane with those pieces. And well yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I really like these rebuilds. And yeah, so next we'll be moving on to Raven's um rebuilds. So for the spell of the we've got two rebuilds. The first one is Raven Wings, the second one is the guy in hand. For Raven Wings, it actually looks really cool. I really like it. It comes with some surprising pieces I didn't think would come in the set. Um, the overall design is really cool. I love that they put the eyeball at the front. And it just looks really cool in general. And if you look at the picture, it seems to be that it can actually let you fly. So if the character holds on to it, then you go fly. And this is really cool because we've never got a flying... Um, well, not really a flying gadget, but a gadget that allows you to fly, so that's pretty cool. Technically, I've got flying vehicles, but this one is just really cool. Anyways, next, we have the giant hand. The giant hand is pretty cool. I really like how they made it with only those pieces. Um, yeah, so it's really cool. Um, I'm not really sure what to say about this one, but it is. Um, something that's actually in the show, you see that there's, um, whenever Raven gets angry, she'll make a giant hand to squash someone, and then we actually see it in the trailer a couple times where she makes that giant hand, except it felt differently, obviously, it has to be a bigger hand than this, and this one's only built out of Raven's spellbook pieces, but that's pretty cool, so we'll next be moving on to Starfire's rebuilds. And for the Titan robot, we can see here the second robot is... Uh, second row, but second rebuild, so is the uh, T Rocket, and this T Rocket looks really cool. We've seen it in the trailer, and I really like the overall design. Plus, there's even a takeoff base, which looks pretty cool. And yeah, overall, it's just a really cool design. Um, I like how they use the helmet at the front of it, and everything that they use just makes it stand out from the rest. Cause well, it's a rocket, so yeah, I really like that. And how they use those pieces to make it. Because it was supposed to be a mech. And now it's a rocket. I think that's pretty cool. Next is a robot retriever. Um, the robot retriever isn't an actual robot. Because it just like retrieves the robot or something. But it's kind of like in a dog formation. With all hands and feet on the ground. And the head sticking up. I really like how they use. In, well I'm pretty sure. In the like in game version. It has an eyeball instead of. That actual face, that's pretty cool. And I just like how they made the legs and even how they kept the T symbol on it. And they even kept the T symbol on the other people of it too. The T rockets on the front or side, I'm not really sure. Or top. Um, but yeah, so these are really cool rebuilds and. I'm really excited to get. I was really excited to get revealed to them, and I'm thinking hopefully tonight we might get revealed to the Powerpuff Girls. But before that, I'm gonna show you something else. So stay tuned for that. So the picture I want to show you guys was this. This is a rebuild for the Powerpuff Girls team pack, and it's pretty blurry. I found it in one of the E3 gameplays. I think it was the first one. Um. But I'm pretty sure they didn't mean to show it, they just accidentally showed it. And I managed to catch that right time so I could take a um, screenshot of this. So, yeah. And you could see pretty clearly Powerpuff Girls' smartphone and hotline. And I'll actually show a picture after this of the Powerpuff Girls' hotline because we brought a better picture of it before. And Powerpuff Magnet is a bit more blurry than that. But you can kind of make out what it looks like. And then. The Octi is pretty blurry, but you could, like, just just make out what it looks like. And then the, the I forget what it was called, but some kind of squid. I, I can't see that at all. And then the Super Skunk, I could see part of it. It looks kind of like a scorpion from where I'm looking at it, but that doesn't really matter right now. So this is really cool. I'm really excited. Hopefully we'll get revealed to these rebuilds tonight, and... I'll try to make a video showing what I think the Power of Girls hotline will look like, but, yeah, so, 
aside from that other picture I'm going to show you at the end. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you think about these rebuilds, about the new Teen Titans Go trailer, and about the screenshot of these rebuilds. But, yeah, that's all. So, see you guys later on LEGO Channel 62, aside from that other picture.